everybody and welcome back. This tutorial video is about how to create raised bottles. Basically if you have a fun house or you wanted to have some type of display where you have creepy bottles in there or a theatrical or thematic photo shoot and you really wanted a really cool look on some of your products this is the way to go. Now I'm holding two bottles over here and you're probably saying how did you make that blue like that? Well that's very easy. Uh, this one is nothing more than white glue and some food coloring mixed together. You paint on the surface of the bottle and let it dry. Whatever color it is on there, when it dries, becomes darker. Now, if you're wondering how to make the corks, basically this is just air dried clay and a little bit of acrylic paint put together. And I made little dimples and dimples on there and I did an aging. I should actually make a tutorial video on how I make these corks but basically it is nothing more than air dried clay that's been painted and then uh, aged with a little bit of black acrylic paint. The color of the bottle then dries and if you want to I also have another tutorial video on my site on how to create old-fashioned style labels but today we're going to be talking about raised bottles and I'm going to show you how to do that. Today you're going to be using a hot glue gun. Got to make sure you have some nice glue gun sticks in there. A nice soft brush. I'm using a watercolor over here, number six. I'm also using an acrylic black paint. This is a 999. Wow, 999 black. And you also want to get a really nice gold uh, acrylic for the overcoats. So now explain that, let's start looking at some bottles that I had already previously made and see how we designed them. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to make the raised areas on bottles. Really as a complete new dimension to your props. Anytime you're making potion bottles or spooky bottles for a Halloween setup or this type of material is really cool, the raised glass areas. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And let's see, the first thing you're going to need today is a glue gun. Once you get your glue gun up and running, please note that whenever you have hot glue, if it gets on your fingers, do not put it in your mouth. Get a cold, uh, cold container of water, dip your finger in the water, and take care of that. Prefer children not to do this type of activity. Adults should be doing it. You should have either glass or plastic bottles. So let's look at how a glass bottle would work first. This right here is glass and so is this. So I had done the raised glass on here so let's make a design today. Now I also want to coat this top over here to get rid of the 21st century ridges that are on here. I want to make it look like it was hand blown. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dump my hot glue on here. Let's see if it works. There it comes. Right, we're in business now. Let me do this completely all the way around. Now that we've covered up our 21st century-ness, now we can move on to doing decoration on the bottle. There's a little bit more over here. I'm going to fill that in a little bit better. Okay, great. You can actually see it looks like a hand blown lip. Now I'm going to put some decoration on here, and I kind of like the one that I had done previously where I'm adding kind of a, a leaf type of motif to my glassware. Actually, since this is a brown bottle, as long as you can get rid of all the threads that come off of there, it'll look pretty cool. It actually just magnifies the brown underneath it. I'm just going to make a pattern on there. Leaf pattern. That is so cool. what kind of potion was in this bottle. That's completely up for you to decide. So your projects. 
with that. There. I'll stop right there. Coolness. Can you see that? Okay, let that dry. I'm going to do one more. Some lines down the plastic. And be careful with the plastic. It can melt the right heat. It will melt. You don't particularly want that. Now, if you looked at this very closely, I had shown you two other kind of bottles here. Those bottles have been stained glass to make them look this color. And you can check out my other tutorial videos how to add the coating onto the hot glue to make them look like this. Once you finish putting your hot glue on the bottles, let them dry completely. If you need to have it immediately done, you can dip them in cool water and they will solidify. Now that the bottles are dry, let's start doing some cool stuff. And we're going to start doing the gilding on here and I'll show you how I did that with my gold 985. Get yourself a very soft tip dry brush. Make sure this is nice and dry. And we're just going to touch the surface. Just the surface. To imagine what kind of logos you can put on there and if you have enough skill to create dragons on your bottles or or snakes or tarantulas what kind of crazy stuff you can put on there maybe who knows maybe the next bottle i'll do i'll make a tarantula on it put on there it's kind of cool look at this it just pops and let's make uh some of this up here gold gild that out too damn that's a pretty bottle this is going into an apothecarian photo shoot, which is coming up very soon. Using the right label on that. That's cool. Okay, let's move on to the second one. Black bottles are just cool. I just, I love the way they look. I don't have to worry about Potions bottles. Type of mistakes you make with the gold you can fix with a little bit of black. But I'm just going to leave those mistakes right on there. Let's do the edges here. Just touch this up a little bit here and there. Just enough information. Potions bottles. Really cool prop. Blend that right in. And there they are.